Hi guys, in today's video we are going to discuss logical operators in C. So what are logical operators? Logical operators are those kinds of operators which help us perform logical operations in our programs. So in C we have three logical operators. So first we have the AND operator which is pronounced as uh, AND and represented by these two ampersand symbols. Then we have the OR operator simply pronounced as OR and represented by these uh, slashes. Then we have the NOT operator which is pronounced as NOT simply. So let's discuss one by one what these logical operators do for us. So these operators are usually used in our conditional statements to implement some sort of logic. So the first we have the AND operator. So the AND operator returns true only if both conditions are true. So if we have two conditions as you can see, the first one being x is greater than 3 and the second one being that x is less than 10. So the AND operator has been implemented. This will return true only if x falls in the range between uh, 3 and 10. So this includes 4, 5, 6, 7 all the way up to 9 excluding uh, 3 and 10. If you want to include these two you can use the greater than or equal to and uh, less than or equal to but the thing is it will return true only when both of these conditions are satisfied. If none of them or uh, just one of them is satisfied then this operator will return a false. So let's take an example and uh, let's try to actually implement this operator. So let's for example consider that we are doing a program in which we have to check the eligibility for a person whether or not this person is eligible for a driving license and we know that in order to be eligible one has to be between the age of 18 and uh, let's say 60 years of age so one has to be in this range so we'll simply print out a message enter your age And now we will implement our logic. So we'll use a conditional statement. And in this statement, we are going to use the AND operator. So let's say if age is greater than or equal to 18, but at the same time, age is less than or equal to 60, then printf, you are eligible. So now, after this, if we'll use an else, uh, printf, you are not eligible. All right. So this is it. Now we use the and operator, and I'll return zero. So let's see what happens. So we got an error. Okay, just forgot a semicolon here. Anyway, so now this program asks me to enter my age. So Let's say I enter a number and if this number is greater than 18 and at the same time less than 60 only then will I be eligible. So uh, it shows me that I'm eligible. So let's run it again and let's give an invalid age. Let's say uh, 15 and now it shows you are not eligible or uh, let's do it once again. Now I'll uh, type 75 for example. It uh, once again shows that uh, you are not eligible. So to implement this kind of thing you need the AND operator. So now let's have a look at the logical OR operator. So this operator will return true even if one of our conditions is true. So if both conditions are true, it returns true. If one condition is true, it returns true. And if none of the conditions are true, only then will it return a false. So for example, here you can see is if x is less than or equal to 10 uh, or if x is uh, greater than or equal to 25. So on the number line, all the numbers between 10 and 25 are discarded. So any value that comes in between these two points will be discarded. And all the values that are less than 10 or greater than 25 or equal to 25 will be accepted. So that's the difference between the logical OR and the logical AND. So let's try to understand this with another example. So now we'll use the same example to implement the OR operator just in a different way. So let's say I have the age of the driver and now I want to check if uh, this person is eligible or not. So instead of the AND operator, we use the OR operator. We'll type if age is less than 18. 
or age greater than 60 right so then Uh, then we print you are not eligible or uh, if that's not the case then we print you are eligible so now this program will do the same thing but uh, just in place of the and operator we have used the or operator so the people with ages less than 18 or greater than 60 are not eligible according to this program so let's see the output so now let me enter the proper age again and now it uh, clearly shows you are eligible because this number does not fall in the range that we are not accepting and now let me run this again and I'll type 15 so it shows you not eligible and if I run this again and uh, enter 75 uh, once again this shows you're not eligible so the task that we are performing is the same we just use a different operator so now let's have a look at the logical not operator so this operator returns true when our condition is false or returns false when our condition is true so what does this mean so basically as you can see it reverses the state of the operand so for example our given condition if this condition is true then the logical not operator makes it false so for example i write x equals 5 this is one statement and if i write x not equal to 5 so then this is true for all values which are not 5 so if i go in with 4 this will give me a true if i go in with a 3 this will again give me true only for 5 this statement will be false so what can we possibly do with this uh, let's check this with an example so for example in this program i have declared so here i have declared two integers a and b and for the first integer a i display message enter the smaller number and for the second integer b i display a message enter the larger number and now i run a while loop and inside the while loop the condition is a not equal to b so it means that as long as a is not equal to b this loop will run if a equals to b is true then our statement will become false and if a equals to b is false then our condition will become true and the loop will keep on running so as long as a is not equal to b we print the two numbers are not equal and that we are adding one to the smaller number which is a and this is the increment so this is how the logical not operator is useful so when i run this so enter the smaller number this program says i'll type 4 and for the larger number let's say i type uh, 10 so as you can see it displays the two numbers are not equal for the first iteration and it adds one so we get five and similarly it again prints that the two numbers are not equal and it again adds uh, one to it making it six and seven and eight and nine and finally when this is actually equal to 10 the loop this loop we come out of the loop and the program ends right there in such cases we can use the logical not operator so this was all about the logical operators in c i hope you found this video useful if you do not like this video then leave a dislike thank you